He said Nespresso. Look, I have an advent calendar of Keurig cups. Right. Let's see what today is. I gave my Keurig. Keurig sent me a bunch of stuff, but I gave it away to somebody because I already have the Nespresso, you know. But you have bowls. Do you only use the Nespresso? Yeah, it's been a while since I used the Keurig. I like the Keurig, it makes bigger cups. Keurig? So why don't you use it again? Yeah, Nespresso is for people who drink espresso and like lattes. It was so difficult to open. Here, let me get a cutter. Okay. What is this, chocolate and then? Yeah. No! Wait, is it not by like days? I thought it was going to be like organized, like open this on day one. I guess it's not. Guess we can just pick. There's McDonald's McCafe Cinnamon Streusel Coffee Cake. Green Mountain Holiday Blend. Red Velvet Latte from the Donut Shop. Let's do the original Donut Shop Peppermint Bark. I just added water. Silly. Holy moly donut shop. I got this as a present for my mom a while ago. It's steaming. <laughs> A yogurt bowl with granola, honey, and almond butter and Chiabani vanilla yogurt. Okay guys, so look, a nurse came. We had a home nurse come because I'm good. I just had, we're applying for life insurance. Or we might be. We can't decide if we're going to do it. My financial advisor recommended it. And so she drew blood and got my vitals and weight and height. Did not like stepping on the scale. That did not make me happy, but it's fine. Um, I had to pee in a cup, and it was so weird because normally when I pee in a cup for drug tests, you just pee in the cup and give it to them, but I had to pee in the cup, read it, um, the temperature of it, and then pour that into two little cylinders and give that to her. I'm like, am I nursing right now? But then I went through my emails on my computer. I need to post today's vlogmas. I made the thumbnail, but now we're going to go work out. So we need a little workout fit. I don't feel like finding a trail to run here. I need to find one because I need to get my 10 miles in. But I just don't feel like it. It's like not, it feels weird. It's like not Charleston, I don't know. So today I'm just gonna run three miles downstairs and then I'm gonna go to a coffee shop because I'm so behind on editing. So I'm gonna find a cute coffee shop, edit a lot there. And then I scheduled a bar class at 5.45 and then we'll come back and have dinner with my dad and chill. So that's the plan for today. So let's get our workout fit on. Let's get ready to run and then coffee shop. It just feels weird. I love being home, but like it's hard because I can't just go on class pass and book. I mean, I can, but there's like no good classes here. I can't do jibe or the works or form, but it's fine. We're making the best of it. I looked at Orange Theory because I used to have an Orange Theory membership, but one class is $34, which is nuts. Um, but I am going to try Pure Bar, but it was a lot of credits. Use these two on my face because in the winter we can't go without them. Makes me glowy and tanner. Watching Steph's vlogmas, she's killing it. We went out to dinner the other day in Charleston, or to a bar. And she was, she's doing it where like she films the day and posts that day the next day. So props to that because I'm pre-filming. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I literally just stopped running, but I just hit three miles, 30 minutes. Slay. 
Hi guys, so real quickly, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video. It is Rocket Money. So Rocket Money has been helping me to manage my finances. I just got my second pediatric nurse job. And as you know, the pay for New York and for South Carolina is way different. So obviously the cost of living is better, but I'm just working on a way. I want to take control of my finances and I've wanted to like know what's going on and know how to budget them and know what to do and just kind of so I can set myself up to be for the best future I can possibly get. And Rocket Money has been helping me to do so. Rocket Money is an app that helps you to save money and better to manage your money. It's the personal finance app that helps you to remember to cancel subscriptions because I always freaking forget those stupid subscriptions and I'm paying for them for so long when I'm not even using them. It helps lower bills and manage your money better. It basically helps you to achieve financial freedom. You can grow your savings, build a budget, cancel subscriptions, manage your money. It's just a place to do all of these things in one little place, which is so good because I like, I need everything in one place in one app and that's what Rocky, Rocket Money is. So for me, I use it for the canceling subscriptions. Like it, like I forget to do these editing app ones that I don't even use anymore and it recognizes safely and securely these unwanted subscriptions and cancels them for me. You can even cancel them from the app with just a couple of taps. You don't even have to worry about customer service calls, which I hate going through. Rocket Money's helped save customers an average of $720 a year with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. I also love using it to make a custom budget for myself because I've had no budget ever. And so it's really helped me to make a budget for myself and kind of follow that. And even you can set up notifications for when you like exceed your budget. Um, so it's kind of good to remind me like, oh, maybe we shouldn't get this extra oat milk latte. You can also set up smart savings, which was like my biggest thing I needed because my money is just sitting and it's not growing or anything. You can choose the amount and the frequency and Rocket Money will automatically move it, deposit into a smart savings account. Take control of your finances today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Anna Hyde. Click the link in the description to get started for free. It's rocketmoney.com slash Anna Hyde. Link in the description. Go do it, you guys. Take charge of your financials and have financial freedom. It has helped me so much. Okay, I got to downtown Woodstock, which I'm nervous. I'm always nervous in downtown Woodstock because like, there's the opportunity to see so many people, just so, so, so many people that like, I just want to edit on my computer and not be bothered. But um, downtown Woodstock is so freaking cute and it always evolves. And so I think I decided, my friend said, I asked them for Rex and there's a new coffee shop called, what was that? What was this time? Called Bazaar Coffee. And it looks really good and it looks really cute. Hopefully the... Hi there. My... Am I speaking with Mariana? I believe it's Mariana Heed. Am I saying it all right? Yeah, Anna, Mariana Hyde, yeah. This new place is called Bizarre Coffee and it looks so cute and like such good coffee. Um, and I'm gonna go here to edit for a couple hours until I sign up for a class at Pier Bar. So I have like three hours or so. I wanted to shop because I need Christmas gifts, but we might do that another day because I already have Christmas gifts for my aunts. I just needed some more for my dad, brother, Matthew, and then I wanted to get my cousin's gifts. So we have a lot of Christmas shopping to do. I don't know why I waited till last minute, but let's go inside and see if there's table room. If there's not, I'll go to Style Brothers. Look how cute it looks though. It's hard to see through my window. Bizarre coffee. It's so cold. Y'all, I swear, I'm, don't think I'm tripping. Oh my gosh, there's my cream cheese spread. So I got Starbucks the other day in another vlog. And I was so mad because he forgot my cream cheese, but he didn't. It just slipped out of the bag. I'm sorry, Starbucks guy, for internally getting mad at you. Oh my gosh, why is it so much? Like, am I tripping or is it colder in Georgia than Charleston? It's 49 degrees here. And I think it's the wind. Like I just like walked across the wind and it was like, like blowing so, so, so hard. 56 in Charleston and 48 here. So not that big of a difference, but like it feels like it. <sighs> I got so much done and that was the perfect place. So I walked into Bazaar and there was nowhere to sit. It was so crowded and I was like, yeah, not today. This is not a good place to sit and get work done. Stout Brothers is huge and there was so much seating and barely anyone was in there. It's also a beer place, but it has coffee. So I got an iced sugar-free vanilla latte with oat milk and they put it in what looks like a hot cup, but really it's iced and it's so good. Um, and then for a like snacky thing, I got one of their bowl uh, bins, whatever it's called. It had cheese, crackers, pretzels, hummus, 
and carrots. So just snacked on that as I edited. I got three whole Vlogmas videos done. So I just finished day 21, I think. Now I just gotta edit and catch up on 22 and 23 and 24. This should be day 25. Is this day 25? Four. Oh my God, Merry Christmas, you guys. What the heck? I can't believe how ahead we were on Vlogmas. That is insane. Merry Christmas. I hope you guys are having a Merry Christmas. Oh wait, no, I don't wanna post this one on Christmas because my Christmas one should be opening my gifts, what I got for Christmas. Merry late Christmas. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. Comment your favorite gift. All right, now we're gonna go to Pure Bar, 545 bar class. Now we're gonna listen to Taylor Swift and drink water because I'm dehydrated. I was there for like three hours, I think. Your bike ride. Cool. It's it's so windy. This is what I'm looking forward to. Oh, the bar class. It was so good. It was like a bunch of moms, <laughs> but it was fun. And Did it was you know good. any of them? No. It was 50 minutes, but like bar is so much harder than you would think. It like works for like small little muscles. Remember we did it in Mount Pleasant that time with Pat and Mary Kay? Wait, what? We did a boot camp, but they did a bar version. Oh, I thought you meant we did a class. Because we, you know, we want to invest them. Dinner tonight, is, is this one the Caesar one? Yeah. It looks so good. And then the leftover soup that is also so good. I just did a body shower because my hair's still good. Put on my sweatshirt and comfies, and we're gonna eat. Do you like a lot of Caesar? Because I got extra dressing. Um, that's good. If I need more, I'll see. Here, dish yourself. I don't know how much. Um, dish yourself. Did you work Monday to Friday, nine to five, Dad? Why do you work early? So like, after I biked, I biked from 4.30 to 5.30 and then I worked till 6.30. Oh, so it's kind of like on your own pace? Yeah. We don't have nurse hours like you. Yeah, but that's nice. You don't have to go strictly from 9 to 5 like you can go bike. What are you going to watch tonight, Barbie? Barbie. I actually think we should watch that. Okay, salad time. Mm. Made my overnight oats in a different state. I can't wait to eat these. I'm gonna make a hot chocolate cured pot. We gotta see what our advent calendar is. Is today the 18th? Oh my god, this is like, I keep getting these M&M's. All three times I've opened it, I've gotten these M&M's. Is that all that's in there? No, I think there's different things. Like, let's see what the 17th was. M&M's. I'm so confused. Let's see what the 16th was. We got something different. A Mr. Good Bar. So you can wet sign and then... Hi. God. He said, don't tell people no. I'm watching. Well, okay, well, I'm making us watch Barbie. No. He's going to bed. Put it back. <laughs> Guys, I've never seen Barbie, and it's been months. How pathetic is that, and how out of character is that for me? That's nuts. You guys, I just finished, me and my dad just finished Barbie, even though he doesn't want me to tell you guys he's been watching it. It was really good, actually. Of course I loved it. You guys know I would love that kind of movie. But, the only thing I was confused about, oh my God, why do I still have this headband on? Was when everyone's like, you're gonna cry, you're gonna cry, you're gonna cry, like at the end, at the end. So we were like waiting for the end the whole time and then I was just like, I mean, this is cute, like all the memories and like she wants to go to the real world. What's the sad part? Like, did I miss them saying something? Maybe it just went over my head. Maybe I wasn't fully listening. Maybe just like how, is it like how we're growing up fast and life's going quickly? Cause that's sad. 
The movie was really good though and really cute and I want a part two of her in the real world. Um, and the mom and daughter were really cute and really sweet and that was really fun. Um, but yeah, I had a great chill yet productive day. It feels like a long day even though I didn't do much. I did the perfect amount of chilling and relaxing and like sleeping in and getting coffee while, while still grinding, getting worked at the coffee shop, getting my, my workouts in, the bar and the running. Tomorrow, what do I want to do tomorrow? I need to get my 10 miles in at some point this week. But like tomorrow's supposed to be like a high of 40 or like a high of 44. So it's supposed to be really cold. So we'll see if we feel like getting the 10 miles in tomorrow. It might be our main day that it would make the most sense to do. Because then tomorrow night I have something so fun. It's really fun. I'm excited. See you guys tomorrow morning. Love you guys. My nurse is going to be here in 15. Which one do we do today? Cinnamon sugar cookie is calling my name. Miss these buckaroonies. All right, we haven't talked in a minute. It's 1.17. Um, been a productive morning. I had a meeting with something really exciting i feel like i can't talk about it that's so annoying when people say that but i actually can't something coming up it won't be until like may but it's in the works it'll probably be in may announcing and then i just got off a call with figs how exciting um i think i'm gonna be joining their ambassador program which is really exciting i love what fig stands for i love all the things they do with their ambassadors and they just love how we are here to inspire the next generation of nurses and I think it's really awesome so catch me in some new figs coming up for this new job but I'm so pumped but now it's like warm I was gonna run outside I, it's literally 30 something degrees and I'm not feeling like that and I don't want to find a new trail so we're just gonna run three miles in here and then do like a hit workout and then we're gonna go about our day okay I'm watching Danielle's vlogmas it's so slay and guys, I'm so annoyed. I hit like the speed button accidentally while running. And it started me over, but I was almost at 1.5. So I just did a one point, another 1.5 to make three miles. So I've done three-ish miles. That's so annoying that it just started over. And I like don't have my Apple Watch on. I don't have my Apple Watch on or anything, but I worked out on the sweatshirt because it was like freezing at first. But obviously now I'm sweating, so. I'm gonna find like a 15 minute some kind of workout. Maybe not a hit, cause again, I'm tired now. Extending those legs long. Bringing those knees in. Extending those legs long. Ooh, come on. Y'all, what I just did is a 17 minute lower body flow and I highly recommend. I feel like it was so good for leaning and elongating my legs. I'm gonna try to do this at least a couple times every week. I feel like it's so good. It's on the form out by Sammy Cliff. Okay, I showered. I have my Taylor Swift merch on because I'm ready for tonight. We're having a cute Taylor night. <clears throat> now let's make a smoothie. There's some strawberries, blackberries. Can I make a smoothie? Got the phone. Well, you might go down that road, but we're not, we don't have any better. Okay guys, I packed workout clothes for tomorrow. Outfit in case I meet Coco after I sleep over at Michaela's. Sleepover stuff, makeup. That's what I packed. Okay, Jim was on a call, so we said bye before he started the call. But Michaela's is kind of a drive, so, and I feel like we're gonna be up late tonight, so I'm gonna go get Starbucks. And like, the Keurigs are fine, but like, Keurig coffee never like hits hits for me. And that's what I've been drinking since I've been home. I needed a bigger bag, but I didn't have one. I didn't want to bring my whole suitcase, but back to my water. 
some pretzel snacks. These ones are so good. They're like the butter balls. I don't even know. And let's hit Starbucks and then go to Michaela's. I'm so excited. Let's start with the moment I knew. Let's play some red and we'll play the moment I knew, but then listen to the rest of red. I've been on the moment I knew, knew kick, if you didn't know. Sorry. Sorry, thank you. Long time no see. Kelly, our Publix queen. We have Michaela. We have mom and dad. And we have this this random man that I don't know who this random man in here is. This is mine. This is mine. Wait, this is really sly. Okay. This is my boyfriend. I need to ask you so many questions. Who's this one? That's Mine, Michaela's. Michaela's. That's my dad. Did you win, Mia? Yeah, I think you yes, should have won. She should have won. You won solely because of that. Yeah. Oh my god, y'all. Is this your dog food bowls you prepare? Yeah. <laughs> Tell us what's on the menu, Michaela. Um, so for dinner, we're having BLTs with bread chicken soup. And best, turkey bacon. Best meal ever. Yeah, requested by Kennedy. And then we're having strawberry marks for dinner, and then we're having... Because we're like, man... You want to hear the real like story? So I bad. was like, listen, Anna's like coming picture. over for dinner. I was like, we can't eat BLTs and French onion soup, because yeah. Anna's not going to eat a BLT, so you're going to have to tell Kennedy she doesn't get her normal dinner. And then she slid into the text message. They convinced me. <laughs> they convinced me. They said, don't worry. It's delicious. It has the least amount of This food. does. I think that one has the least. It. This one the least? Okay. Then I go. That one's Anna's. The most to him. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay. I feel like he's going like a chat, like a dog or it's big. Like a baby. <laughs> You're like, hold him like, you know, like cradle him. There you go. I feel like this is when they like jump, jump <laughs> out. What is this? His Archie. Archie. So you can be a cat person, you have the right cat. <laughs> it's just like it's just like what's going on. I guess cats are more low maintenance and like you can travel and like Yeah. Right? Like yeah. Like well, you can leave you can the cat bites them overnight. You have like, like we've got like a water fountain back there. I did a constant flow of water. Oh wow. You like water out like that. And they are pretty snuggly. You can find the right one. And, and Taylor Swift's a cat person. She is. I love my cat. So I should become a cat person. I feel like this guy hates me. <laughs> no, he loves it. I can see if there's more available. I just want to actually. You can put down over. You can put down in the hole if you want to. This one's not permanent. That we're getting for free. Mm -hmm. This looks so good. Oh, oh. hello. <laughs> <laughs> you don't fucking get in my car! Shut up! <laughs> Oh man. And 1989 TV. Shut up! I don't want to hear it! <laughs> <laughs> Champagne problems. This looks so funny. <laughs> I wish you could see the camera right now. <laughs> it looks so funny from that angle. <laughs> Brown, brown, brown. Say hi. Hi, Kendall. Hi, Candy Bendy. She got. She told me she lived for me. My hamster is inside me that I suck. Mm hmm. Hey, it tastes like water. It mm -hmm. Taste it. But it it's looks like pretty. Drinks and wine. <laughs> that's yours. Oh my god, that's cute. It's good, but we need to put ice in there. Yeah, like yeah, a pretty. But I want ice to Thanks, buy. baby girl. Yeah, I'll put, put, put yours back. I'm like, wait. Wait, I want to read them. Okay. Your mom Happy got birthday. it out. Okay. Thirteens on hand and split. I can't. What is that last word? Camaraderie. Com com camaraderie. Camaraderie. What is, oh. <laughs> Twelve golden Grammys shining brilliantly. Eleven cozy scarves. See. Hidden. <laughs> okay, I'm I reading mean, upside down. It should have just said 12 whatever, 12 grainy, 11 scars. I know. Why is that so much? Oh, okay. Wait, keep reading it. Nine for Holly. Anna spent, someone will jump on a down payment for a house that she did at Taylor Swift. <laughs> down payment on a house. Six. All to see. A shot. <laughs> <laughs> Rings from Mr. Travis Kelsey. Oh. 
country melody. Like, they're just kind of random. I okay, like but uh, the Travis Kelsey one's the good. The Kelsey one is good. Except he's not going to get a ring this year. Yes, he is. They're he not doing dot, dot, dot. He didn't get it last year. He didn't get it. Is he? He got it the year before. The year before. The Eagles won last year? Yeah. No? Travis won last year. Travis didn't win last year. No, Travis. Philly, Philly beat the Chiefs, didn't they? Not no, last they year. I think somebody random won last no, year. No, guys, this game oh, was literally the most, won the Super Bowl last year. That was not the most recent. In Super Bowl 57 on Sunday, February 12th, the Chiefs beat the Eagles 38 to 35. Oh. That was this year? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the Kelsey Bowl. <laughs> well, good. This year lasted a long time for us. It felt like a while. Please. I saw this TikTok. It Wait, was I like, need taste test. It was like, I need. These are so pretty girls. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> Thanks, Mama Sita. Alright. Okay, sorry, tell your story. Okay. Um, oh my god, this is so good! <laughs> it tastes like a milkshake. Really? A peppermint milkshake. Yay! Okay, sorry, go. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this TikTok. It was like, um, so I really want to see Taylor Tra uh, celebrate with um, Travis, but I also want to see her wear the same uh, jacket that Give me Mama Kelsey wore. Because she's originally a Philly fan. Oh, I also want, but she's so down bad, she would not wear that jacket. She oh, would no, like she fully. Would, like, I don't you think, know, I don't, think the, I don't think Kansas is going to Super Bowl this year. I think she's as much of an Eagles fan as like we are Falcons fans. Like, I'm yeah. from there, like. I'm from there, I was a poor when I came. I'll be cute and wear their jersey. But to be honest, fuck them. I'll put them in my song. Okay, well, the song is kind of crazy. Where's the third one? I don't know. Okay, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, Scott Swift played. Football, like I think they've got to be some sort of fan. Was he playing for the Eagles? Oh, we out the game last night. We were forever, ever. Do you like icing? Yeah, well, I do. I was scared. I was there. I remember it all too. This morning, we are, oh, hold on. And then I answered really well, and oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, Shadow gave me a really good review. Okay guys, I never finished what we're saying, but I'm with Goko and Bear. Hi. So excited. Um, <laughs> look how cute it is, we're at Pont City Market in Atlanta. <laughs> so cute. Hi guys, so as, well, you don't know this, but I decided to not do Vlogmas today, 31. It's just kind of pointless. Vlogmas is about Christmas, so let's lead it up to Christmas and let's stop it. I also, like, don't want to stretch these home days. I'm not doing much, so I don't want to, like, give you guys, like, seven days of nothing. So I'm going to make a one long home vlog and then one long Christmas vlog. So we're going to do Vlogmas. What I got for Christmas will be um, day 25, and then we're gonna do a long week in my life at home, and then a Christmas, Merry Christmas, <laughs> Christmas Eve and Christmas Day vlog. And yeah, so that's the plan. So this is part of a week in my life, so that's why I haven't been talking as much. We went to Pont City Mar Market with Coco and Bear, and they just make my heart so happy. So do Michaela and Kennedy, just all my home friends, just literally make my heart so happy. So do my new friends, I just, oh my gosh, I love seeing them and just catching up, and they're like sisters to me. 
and we went to Coco's house first. I drove from Michaela's, got Starbucks. We talked with Miss Jen. Her mom is like a mother to me. Then we drove to Ponce City, but we had to leave by two because I had therapy at three and Ponce is an hour and away. So all we really did was um, just get some food, but it was fun. And I we talked the whole way there and the whole way back. So like, that's all that matters. But we're gonna hang out again Friday and then and then Christmas day, they have a party at night. So I'm gonna think we and my dad are gonna go. But anyways, dropped them off, had 20 minutes. So I drove to Orange Theory. I booked a 4.30 Orange Theory class because I don't feel like going home and running in my dark basement. It just doesn't seem appealing right now. A drop-in for Orange Theory is $35, even in Georgia. Why did I just pay $35? I don't even have the heart band monitor. So I'm just $35. I don't have, I used to do Orange Theory in New York, but I don't have the membership anymore. I don't know why I did that, but I just feel like going to a class and not like a boring basement. But yeah, so that was $35. And then we also got a ticket for $30 because I didn't pay because I totally forgot. I thought you paid when you leave the parking garage, but apparently you have to pay during it, but it's only $30. So I'll go pay that now. I'm going to pay that now. I'm going to post today's vlog miss. And then I got to change it in the car for Orange Theory. It starts in like 20 minutes. Oh, and then in the parking lot of Orange Theory, I had a therapy session, which is so good. And I was so tired when I dropped them off, honestly, that I like was like, I don't know if I'll be able to talk. Boom. Didn't even realize it was an hour in and I didn't even realize she was like, let's schedule the next one. I was like, we, like, it's so crazy how good she is and how thankful I am for her and how much I feel like it's helping me even if I didn't think it would ever help me so I highly recommend if you guys are thinking about it just know I was against it until I did it um but yeah okay I'm gonna do this here we go hey guys from Chick-fil-a I got the kale salad and the grilled core up I'm obsessed with it and then I get the avocado lime ranch dressing light Italian and then I got a diet lemonade and a peppermint milkshake in the freezer fridge we watched Love Act. No, nope, come in it. We watched Love Actually. Did you like it? Actually, it was pretty good. <laughs> I loved it. It was really good. The little boy was so cute and his little dad. The drums. They were my favorite story. But the poor mom who got cheated on just. I know. That there was one the only story one. that didn't get loved. But she wanted. But yeah. And I didn't really follow the rock band guys, but everyone else I liked. Peppermint milkshake was so good. If you're confused, he had gum surgery this morning. Gum surgery. So he's had to have like jelly. I couldn't sip through a straw. I had to do it through a spoon. Yeah, but they didn't tell you to not go through a straw, or did they? And you just they did when I went back, but they said it was in the instructions, but I didn't see it in the instructions. And I'm sure you read the top to bottom. Not until I got a lot of blood. So I got him a vanilla milkshake, but I'm gonna go to bed. He's gonna go to Starbucks tomorrow and get me some. I'm talking in British like the people in the movie. Okay. Like the Prime Minister. Oh, I need to tell Krista about, I wanna go to Avalon tomorrow. But I'm going to Kennedy's at seven. Tomorrow night? Yeah, we're gonna dinner. So I'm gonna go late to Avalon with Krista so I can go straight from there to Kennedy. Sonia, thank you so much. Have a great trip. Alright guys, I got ready real quick. My hair looks hideous, but I'm going for that like my makeup and outfit looks good, so like we're just chilling with the hair look question mark. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Can I get a picture of you in the Jeep? Why? Your first purchase. <laughs> Me and Stargirl against the world. Okay, guys, I'm going to Avalon and then to meet my aunt to shop. <sighs> You're all good. Worked out. Oh, what is this? I need to pick it. Set from home? Yeah. It was overnight oats. <laughs> So you're gonna have to throw it away and never get it off. You think? You gotta soak it in. Should we just throw away both of these? Yeah. Dang. That's why I walk. Wait, what about this spoon? Maybe throw away this spoon too. What do I do when I'm going to work and like stuff? Just put them in the sink and put dish detergent in them and just let it foam up and sit. And like it should be fine for after one yeah. shift. Yeah, well put water in it with uh, soap. Yeah, but if I go to work, they have to stay in my car for 12 hours. Oh, yeah. 
I might get like disposable ones. Love you. Thanks. I packed a mini charcuterie board so it has chips, turkey, and cheese on the go. Because I'm running late because I chilled this morning. Mini Diet Coke. Let's plug it in. Avalon's low key kind of fire. Hey girl. Okay, so as I was saying, we shopped and I got my, the rest of my dad's Christmas gift. I got Kristen and Sherry another part of their gift. I got me, I spent a lot of free people, but it was so cute. And then I got these free bird boots. I'll do a haul at Michaela's house or tomorrow. Okay, there's a lot of people here. I should stop recording. Look at your scarf. You look so cute. All right, so we got our sopra sada, which is basically a name for salami. We got our brigiola. This is our tomato jam, marinated beets, canterbury cheese, which is basically like a brie. Uh -huh. And then we have our kalamata olive. We got this creme brulee because my champagne was a little late. So you're welcome, girls. Thank you. I think this catch is on fire. I don't know what that means. So what I do it is took this mode. It's weird, it's hot. It's good though. What, what's it called again? Vanilla vodka, cacao, white hot cocoa. So who's gonna put enough for it's good? Let's get each other for the next round. Well, I, I wonder if you could like let's look it up. Yeah, I did Michaela's peloton tread. And it's so cool, like the notch is here. It was, it was a 1989 run. I did it under Michaela. Fine. It was like hill workouts and then it was like speed workout, it took like 30 minutes. But it was really good and fun because it played all Taylor. Hi guys, sorry I haven't talked to you in a while. I've been off my vlogging game just because I know it's not vlogmas anymore, so I've just been like chilling. But I slept over at Michaela's after we got drinks. We went to Hampton Harry's in Avalon. Well, for dinner, we went to like Ella North. It was a very good dinner. Then we went for drinks, we went to Hampton Harry's, which is really good. I heard it's good even when it's not a holiday bar, but the holiday bar was so cute. Um, not liking my drink so, but finally I got one. Me and Mick got that hot one, like the warm one, and it was really good. Because the Grinch one was like, he lit it on fire with the s'mores, like a marshmallow and chocolate, but the drink was fruity, so I was like, that just doesn't go together. Um, very fun experience. Mick's mom picked us up, went to sleep over at Mick's. Mick went to work, I slept in. I worked out and did the Peloton at her house, that 1989 run, which was really good. We drove home, didn't show any of this, but I got Stargirl detail in my car to where my dad goes. It was only $46 and they power washed, like cleaned the outside and the inside. And so that was really nice and a good start to my year is having a fresh, clean car. So I'm very happy I did that. It only took like 40 minutes, probably even less, honestly. It was $46. So cheap. And then now I'm home making a smoothie bowl, deciding if I want to stay in or like do something tonight. I can't decide, y'all. I do know I'm gonna lay on the couch for a while though. 
Good morning, guys. I have a workout five minutes with my trainer. I would do it in my basement. Happy Saturday, day before Christmas Eve. This will be the last day of this vloggy because I'm going to do a Christmas Eve and Christmas Day vloggy together. This has been a long week in my life. I'm going to have a sip of my coffee before I go downstairs. And then I'll have the rest when I'm done. I started switching out my order. It's the same thing, but like... I say it different. It's a venti latte with oat milk, brawn, espresso, four pumps of sugar-free vanilla, one pump of peppermint, one pump of white mocha. Instead of doing like the white mocha latte, I just base it around like a regular latte. Mm. Just finished Uno. It was 45 minutes of hit, which is already really hard. And then two miles on the tread, and I'm sweating so much because I kept my jacket on. I was watching Paige for Lens's video on the treadmill, and I was like, how the fuck can she be laying down and looks absolutely flawless? Like, her face is literally flawless. Also, her editing slays. She's a queen. But once I get off this ball, I'm going to shower and do other stuff. What happened to the Christmas music? Showered, shaved, washed my hair, and I feel so clean. I'm wearing these joggers. They're so soft. They're the ones I got at Urban when I shopped with it, Krista. They're so good. Get more like long, small spoons like this. I love. Mm -hmm. Wrapping gifts. This is Matthew's. He plays Fortnite and wants V-Bucks. That's all he asked for. PJs and then this funny pen. Okay, that took way, way longer than I expected, but I'm pretty proud. Um, the only thing is I wanted to do all of them in this besides like the ones that I had to do standing up But I ran out on the last gift. So Sherry's isn't the same pattern, but it's kind of like vibes together But a couple I forgot like my dad and brother I forgot one so I had to do an extra little thing But I think it's fine. They'll have more to open and then like Sherry and Krista's I didn't have a bigger box So I just shove like what I got them but then also like put like the separate things there But I'm very happy stay tuned for the Christmas vlog to see what I got everyone Tyler I have to run to the store and get him a gift card um, but everything else is ready to be packed up. I don't know if I got a chance to show you guys how clean and beautiful Stargirl is, but I got her detailed on the inside and outside. Ignore that, that's like stuck on there. She looks so good and she's glistening in the sun right now. But, I've been waiting for this. I've been bored all day since I worked out earlier than normal. I like when the sun hits the disco ball and it reflects in the seats, but it's finally time. To go to La Perea. I'm so excited. La Perea was like um, our childhood high school hangout spot. It's like this Mexican restaurant, and I've been craving it. Like, I still haven't found a Mexican restaurant similar to it away from home, and I'm so pumped about it. Like, their chips and queso are just unmatched. Like, the amount of canon events I've had at this La Perea is insane. I'm really pumped, and I'm going with Aaron and Courtney. So I'm going to, the other girls can't today. A lot of them are nurses and have to work on Christmas. So they're doing like their Christmas is today because Christmas Eve is tomorrow officially. So it'll just be us two, but I'm gonna pick up Court because she lives in a neighborhood near me and she lives in California. So like she doesn't have her car. So I totally understand not having your car. That can be hard. I did it when I would visit from New York. Um, but first we have to go to either CVS or Publix. I'll probably do CVS because it'll be less crowded to get I was dropping all my gifts and one of my cousins, my all my cousins are boys, but I got them all like nice dress clothes. But I didn't get the right size for one of them, so I just gave Jimmy two of them. And so I'm gonna go get him a nice gift card. Um, he'll probably end up liking that better anyways than the clothes. So first stop, then get Courtney, then we'll meet Aaron at La Perea, And then we're going to see the movie with Sydney. I keep forgetting the name. It's like a basic name, but it's that new movie with Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell and like all the hype behind it about them like being romantically involved. So we're gonna see that in theaters, which I'm so freaking pumped about. Paul is movie theater snacks for after dinner for when we're in the movie theater. These peach rings. Sugar-free candies. 
the mint with chocolate. This, because Michaela had this and I want this mouthwash. It's whitening fresh breath. It's Thera breath. I've seen it everywhere, all over TikTok. Another thing to add to my dad's present, this armband, because when he bikes, he just has his phone flopping in his pocket. So this will be good to like hold his phone. These, finally, for my car, I have hand sanitizer. I was missing that for so long. And I wanted that cute little aesthetic one, but they're sold out all over Amazon. But I did get these squirt ones because I feel like squirting is the move. Like it's just more fun to put hand sanitizer on when you squirt it, you know? Three and one micellar wipes for my face for like after a shift. There's just like that hospital gunk on your face. So that'd be good to have in my car. Same with these to wipe my phone. They're hand sanitizing wipes, but like I feel like I'll use them to wipe my phone down after a shift. And then I got Tyler a $50, my cousin, Amazon gift card. Pretty slay. I feel like I need to try one of these peach rings. We gotta sneak them into the movie theater. We're going to see, what are we going to see? Anyone but you. Anyone but you. Aaron hates Aaron movies, so movies. we're so excited she's here with us today. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see Sydney Sweeney. Aaron doesn't know who Forget Sydney Sweeney it. is. Glenn Powell. I, I know, in love Powell. with Glenn Powell. I'll <laughs> oh, wait here. Yeah. Can you post that? I saw you. <laughs> when you hear about opioid overdoses, <laughs> you probably need to realize the seats, y'all. Yeah, let me get right on that. <laughs> Come <laughs> <laughs> Did I get us a good seat? Actually, you right at home. <laughs> I was scared it would be a little too close, but it's kind of perfect. Got a ribbon. I'm impressed. I'm ready. Right. Guys, the movie, you guys have to go see it right the second. Run to the closest theater near you. I'm obsessed with both of them. I'm 10 million times more obsessed with Glenn Powell. Sydney Sweeney made me want a boob job. Like, I'm obsessed. I couldn't even pee the whole movie because there wasn't even a part that I was like, oh, I can miss this part. It is so good. Go watch it. I need to go to bed because I have to get up early for Christmas Eve tomorrow. I love you guys. Good night. Three, 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 ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Easy. Out of the way to work, Madison. And through your nose, out through your mouth. We're going to start backwards, back with that opposite hand, opposite shoe. 